came, I began the, my career at oil and gas. I, you know, sh uh, shortly after I was working there, I, st I started getting a, a, a sense where I, I wasn't able to get a deep breath. Um, I guess it took about a year or two to, to develop, and uh, I went to see a specialist, um, had a CT scan done. And turns out I had a, a, a nodule in my right lower lung, uh, and all my lip nodes um, in the middle of my chest were inflamed. So they end up doing an uh, uh, endoscopy where they go down here into your throat, take tissue samples, and they went into my lung and took a sample there to determine whether or not it was cancerous. Turned out it wasn't cancerous, but he did uh, determine by CT scans and, and samples that uh, I had been exposed to uh, silica dust and, and very uh, different uh, uh, irritants on, on the job site. And uh, been, I was on the actual job sites for about three and a half years, uh, you know, up to anywhere from 12 to 18 hours a day on the job site, um, exposed to different irritants, uh, mainly a lot of dust from the uh, uh, sand uh, and, and the silica that you could see actually flying around in the air, little shiny particles. No, I didn't have a respirator uh, for a long time. Um, Occasionally we'd, we'd get little paper masks, um, but uh, they just weren't sufficient and they get dirty and muddy and um, eventually uh, I was given a, a, a good a 3M uh, mask. Uh, Six years later and, and, and where I'm at now is uh, <clears throat> I, every year I'm supposed to go in and get a, a, a CT scan down of my lungs to determine whether or not the uh, uh, the nodule that's in my lung is, is increased in size. Uh, they want to keep an eye on it to make sure it doesn't uh, turn cancerous. Uh, yeah, I use inhalers now uh, as needed for uh, breathing. Sometimes I feel like I can't get a, a good breath of air. When I go to bed, uh, I usually I take an inhaler before I go to bed, and then I used to have to use a, um, a CPAP mask uh, when I go to bed that, pro that provides a positive uh, air uh, flow. There's no, yeah, it's permanent pretty much, you can't, there's no, uh, there's no way to, uh, to fix it, it's, it's there. Don't risk you, don't risk it, it's not worth it. Uh, make sure that you're wearing the proper, your, your proper uh, mask, to make sure they're fit, fitted well. If they're in bad shape, replace them, get your filters checked, you know, take care of yourself. Uh, you don't want to end up the way that I've ended up.